Want to learn engineering and science? Well, you've tuned in to the right channel. Hit subscribe and press the bell icon and never miss an update from us. Hey guys, what's up? This is your friend and tutor Manas and it's going to be yet another session in this lecture series on engineering drawing. Today, I'll show you guys as to how you can make the isometric view of a cylinder given its front and top view and also the isometric view of a cone given its front and top view. So let's go ahead and let's do this. All right, so this cylinder over here has base diameter as 50, radius as 25, you can say, and the height has to be taken as 70 millimeters. So the first thing to do is to draw a simple horizontal line. Okay, now what I'm gonna do right now is that I'm gonna enclose this circle in some sort of a square. It's gonna be something like this, let me show you. Let's start from here, let's go here. Let me extend this until we reach here. And that's it. And let me bring it over here, downwards, something of this sort. Okay, now let me make one more vertical line to do this. That's it. And we're almost done. So we've enclosed this circle into a square. And the first thing that I'm gonna immediately do is that I'm gonna prepare an isometric view of this square over here, which in fact uh, will work out as a rhombus. You'll see that, okay? Now, this is having a dimension of, let me check how much it is. Okay, this is 50 millimeters. So essentially, what I'm gonna be doing is, let us take any point at random, and I'm gonna be drawing a line of 50 millimeters, again, with the baseline, or with respect to the baseline, this is 30 degrees. Okay, we've got to do the same stuff over here. Again, 50 millimeter long line, again, at an angle of 30 degrees, but in the clockwise sense, this way. Um, let me finish this. Keep your drafter aligned along this line, tighten the screw, bring it over here, draw a line. Repeat the same stuff for this. Keep your drafter aligned along this line, tighten the screw, bring it over here, and that's it. So the isometric view of a square works out as a rhombus, in fact. Now here, we'll be preparing the isometric view of this circle. How can that be done? Now listen to this very carefully. This, If this is a rhombus, if we consider this as a rhombus, which in fact it is, um, we can see that this over here represents the larger diagonal and this over here represents the smaller diagonal. So what I'm gonna do is, let's take this corner into consideration. I'm gonna join this point with the midpoint of the opposite two edges, okay? So this is the opposite edge and its midpoint is somewhere here. That's the point and that's the midpoint, okay? With From this corner also, we'll be producing two lines which are gonna be intersecting this over here and this line over here. Let us do this quickly. Yeah, that's it. And that's it. There you go. Well, obviously guys, if <clears throat> this is the orthographic projection, it's a circle pure, its corresponding isometric view will obviously be in some sort of an elliptical form, okay? Or an ellipse, to be very honest. So what we're gonna do is, we'll take this as the center, this intersection as the center. Let me show you exactly. With the help of a compass, we can achieve this. Okay, so keep one leg of your compass over here, other leg over here, exactly here, and then rotate it anti-clockwise until we reach here. That's it. Repeat the same stuff. Take this fellow as the center with this much as the radius. Do this. That's it. Let's do this drill once again. Okay. Let's take this as the center with this much amount as the radius and that's the arc, okay? Last but not the least, let's take this guy as the center, this much as the radius and let's rotate the compass until we reach here and that's what you call the isometric view of a circle seen in the isometric view, obviously. Anyways, the next thing to be done is to travel by an amount of how much? 70 millimeters in the upper direction. Well, let me shift this slightly to the bottom as we have less space above. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now in the next step, this is gonna be very interesting, guys. What I'll try to do is, first of all, I'll try to locate a center, okay? Now, let me show you how that can be done. Here we go. And that's it, smaller diagonal also. Okay, so this is precisely the center. 
and from the center we're gonna travel upwards by an amount of 70 millimeters so here is the line starting from this point until we reach somewhere at the top 70 millimeters done what's next all right now what you need to do is watch very carefully guys you need to draw lines or something of this sort let me show you okay keep uh, your drafted aligned along this line tighten the screw okay bring it over here that's it and then do the same stuff keep your drafted aligned along this line tighten the screw and let us reach here and that's it okay now you have to enclose this okay we are going to do the same stuff we are going to do the same drill over here also so let me enclose this all right and you have to make this that's it so you have to do the same construction above and when you do so you're going to get something of this sort let me show you same ellipse in at the top also okay you're going to get the same thing i'm not doing that construction you guys can go ahead and do that that's the same thing same stuff now the next thing to do is pretty simple here we go that's it the outline of the cylinder or the leftmost generator you can say and that's it so this essentially represents the um, isometric view of a cylinder having base diameter as 50 and height as 70 millimeters right now this portion is not going to be visible let me let me go ahead and do something else let me show you exactly how it would look okay let me chip off this portion chip off okay pretty good pretty good okay so this has to be shown some respect but in a different way with the help of a hidden line let me show you exactly what i'm trying to say um let me choose this command here we go here we go and from here until we reach here that's it now let me make this in a sort of hidden way where is the hidden command here we go that's it and guys um this is exactly how it looks let me let me go ahead and darken this okay um thickness 0 0.30 done color red pretty good pretty good let me change this color also um red yeah that's pretty good so this essentially is the isometric view of a cylinder 70 mm height base diameter as 50. now let's go here and we'll try to do the same thing okay we'll try to make the isometric view of a cone now the initial step is going to be the same right now let me let me go ahead and copy this the initial steps are going to be the same let me delete all of this <clears throat> let me use the mirror command to restore the initial drawing yeah that's that's pretty good okay now what needs to be done is you need to take this center take this center and you need to travel by an amount of 70 millimeters that's pretty simple let's go ahead and do this 70 okay what's the next step um it's this watch carefully outermost this way outermost this way absolutely tangential right so this much portion um, has to be given some respect in a different way has to be shown with the help of a hidden line and let me let me set it to normal all right let me clip this further yeah Yeah, that's that's pretty good. Yeah, kind of, kind of. Okay. Let us darken this. <clears throat> so guys, that's it. That's the isometric view of a cone. That's the isometric view of a cylinder. So guys, that was all from my side for today. If you've got any doubt or query, do write them down in the comment section below. I'll be very happy to answer them. And if you believe that this video tutorial has added value to your knowledge of engineering graphics, 
then do share and like this video subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you get a notification you get an update i'm going to be back with more such videos on drawing until then it's a wrap this is manas patnak signing off take care have a great day keep drawing